Hey guys, Garrett here, and today I have really big news for this channel. I'm gonna build another house. Well, if you've watched enough of my videos, you've probably heard me mention some land that I was subdividing. Well, the subdivision is complete at this point. I took 40 acres, divided it into six lots, so there's six nice size lots, anywhere from 4.65 acres all the way to eight acres. And while I could have divided them into smaller lots, uh, no one around my area is selling lots that size, but they are sought after. And so I thought I'd be that person to do it. I'll make another video showing exactly how that whole subdivision process happened. And if that's something that you guys are interested in, you're definitely gonna wanna check that out. At this point, I've divided the land. It is actually for sale. And one of those six lots has sold. So I still have five left. And the common consensus that I get from people is they want those lots and they are fine paying the price, but they are scared to do the building process. So I'm gonna pick one of those lots. It's gonna be a five acre lot and I'm gonna put a house on it. In the last couple of weeks, I've been talking with different contractors about having a house put up out there and they're either insanely expensive and the reason is, New builds are huge right now and they are going on everywhere. So no contractor is really hungry for business at that point. So, you know, just their GC fee on this, you know, typical is 15%. They're charging 18% right now. So 3% above what is typically normal, which means again, they aren't hungry. And plus they are padding every line item within it. So. A, what would be a normal $400,000 build is like $500,000 at the moment. And I sure as heck don't want to pay that much. Plus, I've talked to other contractors who sounded really excited about the project to start with, and then you never hear from them again. They just completely ghost you. So I'm basically taking matters into my own hands. Now, as you may know, I am a licensed engineer, but I am not a licensed general contractor yet. As of this morning, I ordered the books needed to get that general contracting license. Once they come in, I'll go ahead and take the test and then I can get the permits and basically everything to go to get this build going. Now, I've had a heck of a time trying to find a decent set of plans that aren't just for a monster house. You know, my house was 3,000 square feet on the main floor and 3,000 in the basement, but I sure as heck don't want to do one that size again. I want something that's around 2,000 square feet, and that's exactly what I'm trying to get, but finding plans for that, ones that are a ranch style, which is what is really popular in Kansas, that's tough. So I'm finding myself doing another thing myself, which is making my own plans. I started that process yesterday. In another subsequent video, I will show you what's going into that. You know, this whole video series on this entire house build, I mean, I'm gonna take you from conception all the way through the entire build. This is gonna be as much of a reality show as it is a how to and a how not to do. I'm gonna show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. I can't believe I haven't mentioned this at this point, but you know, most of you probably subscribe because you saw me with ICF or geothermal. Well, guess what's gonna be incorporated into this new house build? Of course, ICF and geothermal. And you know, there's so many decisions that still have to be made. And I'm in this super duper early stages of this entire thing, but I need to start getting something out of the ground as soon as possible because it is October 22nd right now and it's gonna get cold. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't love freezing my buns off all the time. So right now I am working my tail off to get those, those plans finished so I can get them to my trust manufacturers. So I can also figure out where all the footings are going to go. I need to get these plans done so that I can give them to a plumber, to an electrician, to a mechanical, just so that I can get the bids necessary and so that I can fill out the permit correctly and have those people on that permit. There's a lot that goes into it. Not to mention, I don't even have a driveway out there yet. And that in itself is posing a challenge. I was going to have a bunch of rock delivered, but I can't find a dump truck around here that is willing to do it anytime soon. They are a month out. They are so busy. I have to wait a whole month to get rock. The good news is I own a small dump truck. And so they're gonna be hauling 16, 17 ton at a time. Mine can do seven ton at a time. So obviously I can do this. It's just gonna take 
more trips for me to be able to do this, but I don't think I'm gonna have a choice in the matter. I gotta get this driveway in so I can get the foundation dug, so I can get the footings going. It all starts with a driveway. And guess what? You're gonna see me build it. And as I mentioned before, so much of this is stacked at the very beginning of the project, meaning I have to make a lot of decisions right up front. And I haven't even decided which ICF manufacturer I'm going with, which geothermal manufacturer I'm going with. Again, I don't really have any of the subs associated with it, so I'm starting absolutely fresh. And of course, I'm gonna film all of this so that I can bring this to you guys as well, but I don't even have all the infrastructure to be able to do this. My intent is to put telephone poles up on each side of this house with some sort of a, a GoPro type camera mounted to them so I can get all kinds of footage showing this house growing out of the ground. I still need to get a drone so that I can do all of the aerial footage of this. If any of you guys know of a good drone to get, let me know down in the description. I know nothing about drones, so it's definitely one of those things I need to do, as well as those GoPro type cameras. They don't have to be GoPro, those are expensive. Is there something else out there that is just as good, gives me good quality, and can give me those time-lapse photos that I need for this build. Also, make sure to comment down below if this is something that you guys are planning to follow. I'm really curious, I'm bringing this to you guys because I think it's going to be valuable, it'll be entertaining, uh, it's gonna be a heck of a lot of work, but the end result I think is gonna be totally worth it. And while there are other ICF houses going up around my area, I don't think any of them combine the geothermal element within it. And I wanna be that guy. I wanna be that guy that really brings all that energy efficiency into it. Because where I am building this, there is only electricity. It, that's, there is no gas out there unless you wanna truck in propane. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to comment down below. Like I said before, let me know that you guys are interested in this. Hit that subscribe button as well as the like button because, you know, there are probably other people out there on YouTube that would like to see this type of stuff. And the more activity that is on a video, whether that be through subscriptions, through like buttons, through comments, it pushes it out further to more people. And so please help me out with that. I'll see you guys next time.